All right, guys, welcome back. This is Jason Gerald with Multiple Streams of in Income, making entrepreneurship easy. Um, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about how do you set up an email autoresponder on your website. Well, it sounds simple to do, but I've purchased lots of different plugins. I've integrated it in with GetResponse using their scripts and loaded on a website. It slows down your site. It's, you know, working with plugins and scripts and all that are very difficult to do. I'm going to show you how to do this with Elementor Pro. This is a paid program, uh, a plugin for WordPress, but let me tell you, it's well worth the investment. I'm going to connect my website with Elementor Pro, loading the forms, and connecting it through Zapier to Aweber. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, there's a couple things we need to do before we get started in creating the form. Number one, we want to make sure that you have an access to Zapier. So I'm going to have this below the uh, in the description, the actual Zapier, so that you can actually log in and get a hold of Zapier. Um, also, you want to be able to get your own list created. I'm not going to go through how to create a list, but I have one here called the Secret Secrets About Buying Traffic. Okay, this is an ebook I created. And on my website, I want to go to quality solo ads. This is the where I want to talk about my solo ads. And down below, I went ahead and created the opt-in form. Um, and, and it's really easy to do. Uh, I'll have another video to show how to create an opt-in form within Elementor because this takes me, you know, 15, 10, 15 minutes just to set this up, make sure I got it all correctly, put the border around it like I did right here, got the the, the actual banner up top of it and then in the actual login and, and ebook. So I really want to show in this video how do you connect Elementor to Zapier that will link directly and send the leads directly to my Aweber uh, email list. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create your opt-in form which I've already done here. Okay, so the second thing you're going to need to do is you need to go into Elementor and you're going to want to go to the section in the opt-in form here as soon as it loads. Okay, give it a second. Okay, here we go. Now we scroll down to the form field and you're going to edit this button right here and we're going to be adding a new section in here um, right here and we want to call this a webhook okay we're going to get that from here so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to zapier and make a new zap okay all right so we're going to create a new zapier okay and right now we're choosing an app um, and we are good from that stage what we want to do is pick webhook which is right here okay and now we're going to do uh, hook, catch hook. So we're going to create the catch hook and save it. Okay. All right, which we're going to do here, right here. You don't need to do anything in here. You just need to hit continue. Okay. Now what we're going to need to do is copy this to a clipboard. So we're going to need to copy this link right here, which we're going to copy to clipboard, which it does it right there. Now we need to go over back to Elementor and when we created this webhook right here, here it is down below, all we need to do is cut and paste that webhook right here, okay? And then we need to update our website, okay? And we're going to save that. Now that is, this webhook is linked to this opt-in form, okay? We go back over to Zapier and we're going to say, okay, okay? Now it's actually looking for a test. So it's really easy to do to do the test. We're going to go ahead and run a simple test. Okay, scroll down here. I'm going to pick my name, Jason. Okay, and then my email list. Okay, and I'm going to hit send. Okay, all right. It says the form has been sent successfully. Now we go back over to Zap here, and you can see now it's in a green status. Uh, saying it's received it so we can just hit continue okay and now we're in um, the setup here which we've chosen now 
you may have to scroll down and choose a Weber since I already have it right here it's already within my list but you're gonna have to pick and choose the app so I want to pick a Weber okay and I'm gonna create subscriber we don't need to do unsubscribe or any of that so we're gonna create a new subscriber okay and say continue okay now you see a Weber's here we want to test it since I've already set it up already logged in I had to connect a Weber to actual Zep or Zapier I've already done that so you did not see that here um, so if you wanted to uh, con connect an account that's where you do it is you connect an account to a Weber you enter your user ID and password to Weber and then you're actually connected okay so at this point all we do is save and continue Okay, now we need to select the actual ID. So this is the AWeber account number. And so you just type that in and then the actual list will pop up right here and secrets about buying traffic is right there. Okay, and now we need to just do email. So the first one is email. Okay, which is right here. And you notice everything looks good from that perspective. Now we need to do name. Okay, we're going to pull down over here and we're going to do a new form name, uh, label name, no. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, we'll do new, whoops, I did the wrong one. And we're going to do name and bring it down again. And let's see here. First name. Let's see what pops up. It didn't pop up like I expected it to. Um, so let me do it again here. I'm going to back out of that. Back out. And here. Where are you? You're supposed to be in here. Name find it again label name okay I think that's it right here okay now there's a little trick here if you have name in front of there you want to make sure it's all green just like that I don't have any other fields that I'm doing I'm just mapping the first name um, and the actual email and so then we hit continue okay everything's set up and we're gonna test to Aweber okay and it says the test was successfully sent okay now if we go over to aweber and let's look at i hit the wrong button let me go look at my lists here okay and we don't see anything in here yet so let's go look at manage subscribers okay and you can see right there confirmation pending okay so if I go back to my email, um, and let me go ahead and go into my email, and open this up. Okay, confirm your email, and confirm my subscription. Okay, now I'm going to turn that off eventually, the subscription notice. But now when I go back into my manage subscriber list, you'll see that this is a confirmed subscriber right here. And so the name came in, the email came in, everything looks good. If I go back up here, there it is right there. So now that's actually all set up. That was how easy it was to set up an email within my system. Now, obviously I can do a lot more automation by setting up and I'll probably put some more words around the button here to make it a little bit more uh, enticing so somebody will click on that and um, I'll probably do an autoresponder within here so that I can actually send emails directly to my person my leads um, within an autoresponder all right so that's it that's how easy it is to set up and connect your your WordPress using Elementor and it's the paid program paid Elementor uh, plugin that allows me to do this because without this form I couldn't do any of this I'd have to find a plugin or find another way of uh, loading the plugin on here 
This is very fast. This is very easy to do. Goes right through Zapier, goes directly to my Aweber account, and everything is all set up and ready to go. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, let me know. If you have any questions, make sure you comment to this video and go ahead and subscribe uh, to my channel here and make sure you hit that notification button because that's important. And whenever I get new uh, information or create new videos like this, I'll be sending them out to you. So you want to make sure you hit that notification button. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can also comment on my, my website called jasongerald.com. And if you go to jasongerald.com, and if you want this ebook, Secrets About Buying Traffic, um, it is a very good ebook, and you can go through it and download it for free right now. Just go to jasongerald.com, and you can go ahead and download that ebook. All right, guys, I'm signing off. Have a great evening, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Have a great day.